Never mind. Bye, Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. We are Dances with Kobolds, and tonight we are playing Mummy's Mask with Patrick. But before I let Patrick take it away, please check out the doobly doo down below and for our sister shows as well as our Extra Life link. But without further ado, take it away, Patrick. Thank you, Stephanie. Welcome, everyone. This should be the final session for The Half Dead City by Jim Groves. Joining me tonight are... I am Brendan, and I'll be playing Dr. Honesty Shortchange, a dwarven medical man of much renown. And I am Lorne, and I'm playing Arrow the uh, Arrogant Monk. Hello, uh, Nabil here. I'll be playing as Dahanka, a Minotaur fighter of the Rune Knight subclass. Hi, everyone. My name is Chris. I'll be playing Hezmet Sot, Auto Gnome, Phantom Rogue, Conflict, Avoidance, and Resolution Specialist. Hi, I'm Ian. I'll be playing Mau, the perfectly normal aberrant mind sorcerer cat who's just a cat. And I'm Stephanie. I'm playing Aya Nassier, knowledge cleric of Hoth, of Hoth, of Toth. And um, just happy to start playing the game. And last session, the party entered the sanctum under the temple of Nethus, known as the Erudite Eye. You learned that you had been following in someone else's footsteps, uh, barefoot footsteps, and that they had removed a mask from a secret chamber that had ominous writing on it. And you learned it was the reliquary of the thrice divided soul. Mm. And the reading on the wall said, woe to you who would plunder the reliquary of the thrice divided soul. Turn away, lest harsh judgment of the Forgotten One fall upon you and your descendants for a thousand generations. Turn away, for his Ka cannot be appeased, and it shall call forth legions of the dead and the damned. Turn away, and may the all-seeing eye and the Lady of the Graves take pity on you, for if not, the Forgotten Pharaoh shall consume you, body and soul. You know, typical stuff like that. Uh, you also met in this basement the Scorched Hand, a rival adventuring party um, who had been specifically seeking the sanctum of the Erudite Eye. And while Dr. Shortchange attempted to lower tensions, uh, their leader, Velriana, a clear religious zealot, took great exception to Hazmet wearing a holy symbol of Nephis, and was not in a mood to listen. A scuffle broke out. Part of their party was loath to seemingly fight, uh, but the young wizard Azaz uh, sort of puffed up their chest and uh, survived quite an attempted onslaught. Uh, they are now pouting, but their partner Kelru uh, is seemingly open to your offer for them to pay you for whatever treasures you actually find here. And Velriana has been rendered unconscious by Hesmet in a further area of this basement. You've really only explored a very small area here. So the question now remains, uh, how do you wish to proceed? Uh, the other thing I wish to go back, uh, in the previous session, you had found a scroll upstairs, and I forgot to share it with you. Yay! And so this is the scroll that talks about the Akat, that being that is in the walls that has been attacking you. And so the scroll reads, We received the largesse from Father Djerid II, uh, who was... Uh, an ancient pharaoh, to protect the sanctity of this Nathesian edifice. Using the generous gift, we completed transformation of Eris into the permanent dweller, an Akat, binding it as body to the sanctum. 
Now five stones of weight with material soul protect the countless stones of the sanctum and the secrets contained herein for eternity. We've secreted the keystone below near the pool of destruction, deep in the sanctum where it can exert the greatest stability. My brother selected me to control the keystone recognition of my magnetism. We must maintain the integrity of our church so it can revitalize itself in the protection of our knowledge and secrets. Jedahepet Sancrosact Order of the Blue Feather. Do I recognize that, that order? You don't. Mm, I does. recognize that. Yeah. You do not. So we need to find this pool and find the stone, presumably? I mean, to... I, I think I'm standing in front of this pool. Uh, yeah. You believe you probably are at this point, yes. So, uh, yeah. And you understand that the this keystone uh, is what controls the Akat. Uh, you recognize that upstairs? Uh, yes. Yeah, this is where we pick up. Uh, well, first of all, uh, we pick up with me in utter blackness as uh, whatever lighting effects down here are now broken. So I would. Well, that's because that's because Tara's not here anymore. She uh, had her uh, her candle uh, there. I would like to Wait. light a torch. Back up. What's an ocket? The thing that was attacking us upstairs. The elemental that's in the walls. The one that smacked you uh, when you scratched at the uh, creeps. Oh, that's an ocket. Okay. Uh, I'd like to shake Kilru's hand. <sighs> he shakes your hand and just says, We will abide by our agreement. Whatever you may find, the church will compensate you fairly for it. I will not offer any support or direction. I take you at your word that it was a third party that removed the artifact Phil Rihanna was seeking. The rest of us are scholars and not as strident in our <sighs> desires. Though I do not disagree with her, I will leave her fate with you. If uh, given to the authorities, you will understand she will be put to death. But she broke the covenant with the Church of Phrasma. Mm. Oh, no, I... I would never, ever dream of turning someone in for anything like that. Uh, we might uh, have disagreed and come to blows a little bit, but um, I think sending someone to their death for such a thing is the something a ruffian would do. Observation. You are not in there. Observation. In ancient times the tomb guardians had a tradition for problematic interlopers or unreasonable individuals that usually I, involved a 100 foot deep pit lined with spikes i think we I just presume we, we probably arc. met up right at this point because he we wouldn't have known that he's killed or he's knocked out valriana fair enough until he's come back all right should we all like I'll, meet I'll up here? You. Yeah. Yeah, I'll move you all to the Yes. Top. Um and Azaz sort of huffs and puffs. But uh you see the scorpion sort of familiar on his shoulder tips its stinger towards you, Mao. Sorry, I broke up. What'd you say? Uh Azaz sort of comes back up the hallway and he has a scorpion familiar on its shoulder, which sort of curls and points its stinger in your direction. Can I hiss at it? You can. And it takes a sort of defensive stance. It does not appear intimidated. It is a familiar. Boo. That was still intimidating. I will take this t uh, opportunity um, 
I'll pull out, I guess, my disguise kit. I'll shuffle, or I guess my backpack. I've got a back uh, backpack. I'm just going to uh, cover her face so she can't see. And Idori, when she wakes up, whispers into your ear. You might just want to smother her. She's going to murder all of you when she recovers. So this is, is morally justified? Is the bag on her head right now? I don't think it's morally justified. She just would not give you the same benefits you're giving her. I have a Dungeoneer's pack, which means I have a lot of rope. So, uh, yeah, um, uh, Valeriana is uh, uh, not free to move right now. Um... Oh, and... Steeler, Steeler, Ar Arcane, uh, focus. Uh, I am sorry. Killer, man. <laughs> no, we're not killing an unarmed prisoner. I can sit on an unarmed back. unconscious <laughs> prisoner. No, no, well, then returning her into the authorities. If you want to play. That's like, killing well, her. Oh, why? She's going to kill us. Uh, question. For Hesmet Sot. Um,. I have been up on the surface for about a month now. You know, um, uh, you know, kind of, kind of, I, I, I kind of have been observing how sort of modern society works. Have I seen any executions? Like, have, yes. like, like, are, are, is this the sort of place that does a lot of like public executions? Uh, you would have seen maybe one or two executions. Uh, you've definitely all seen the pillar of chopped hands that is in the marketplace right uh, if you are caught in the forbidden city here death is standard and when we're talking about death are we talking about a quick and efficient hanging or are we talking about uh you know dragging someone out to a swamp and leaving them tied up in a couple of nailed together boats so that they die of exposure over three weeks. You know, escapism. It's a public hanging. Right, okay. So, um... I would rather not uh, like, to, uh, like to lose someone else I care about. So if she's gonna come after me or you guys or my family, let's just turn her into the authorities. If you don't feel like killing her right, right here now, fine. But she goes to the authorities and she gets her punishment. As per the law. I don't see the difference between... Uh, I don't see the difference between doing that and just killing her here. I... Well, then kill her here then! You're the one fibbling! I'm not fibbling! I just feel like... Fibbling! We shouldn't just kill her because she was an adversary. She tried to murder us. Observation. <laughs> A public execution of the leader of the Scorched Hand and a dedicated uh, member of the Church of Nethys will have grave social consequences for both the Church of Nethys as a whole and the Scorching Hand in particular, for the Scorched Hand in particular. Whereas How about the... Uh, oh. Died in the process of looting a tomb is a much less ignominious fate. All right, so get to stamping. Wait, one, one second. How about this? Can People you guys talk been... for three more minutes? <laughs> People have been dying in the city being attacked, correct? Yes. Correct. How about if it's her that's been doing it? And I assume the, the rest of the members of her team are out here not listening to this conversation? They're no, not. They're all here. You can see that Idori is curious, but, I mean, Kelru and Azaz told you that uh, her fate was yours. If we ask them if she was responsible for that, I am perfectly willing to say we can kill her. And I won't object. Uh, but if she's not responsible for that, then she hasn't killed anyone. Hesmet will stand up 
walk straight over to the door here where these guys are presumably hanging by. Um, and we'll walk straight up to Kelru. And I thought um, they were gone. Well, still here. They're this in the next temple. temple. Yeah. Uh, um, and uh, uh, ask um, simple question. The answer is yes or no. Is Velriana responsible for the murders in the necropolis? No. I will nod, and then I will uh, head back to uh, Dr. Shortchange and Dehaka and say she is not responsible. Then actually, we... Before yeah. I do that, I actually do have an, some training in insight. 14. He does not appear to be lying to you. And you okay. all would have heard tales of uh, some of the other adventuring groups uh, being uh, punished by the Church of Phrasma for uh, various indiscretions. And so certain groups, you know, have lost their uh, treasure and that will presumably be put up at the auction, things like that. But nobody who'd been uh, performing the killings had been caught or charged. Right. So, yeah, uh, uh, Hesmet will uh, uh, will walk back into the middle of the group. Uh, they'll look around and say, Belriana is not responsible for these deaths. She's the still going to try and murder us, so... Ba based on what? Yeah, I mean... Uh, I, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Hesmet will look to Haka right in the eyes. Well, he'll sort of stand up on his tippy toes and look him in the eyes and then say, Velriana will attempt to kill us. If she does, I will break her skull with my hand. But uh, no, as of this point, it would be in self-defense. But right now, I do not see any reason to cut her down where she, she currently stands. Right. Also... We could very well make some money. How? Uh, everyone who I've ever known that's a zealot has been a zealot until it no longer suited them. If it, if their life depends on not being a zealot. How are you going to make uh, that happen? Hesmet uh, will uh, again look at, uh, look at Dr. Shortchange and say, she is very convinced. Uh, yeah, I think she's the, the we share um, deep end one. Yeah, I don't think you know the meaning of the word zealot. Yeah, Hesmet right now is utterly convinced that this person is as like crazy and jealous as she claims, as everyone thinks she is. Zealot, a person who is fanatical and uncompromising in the pursuit of their religion, political, or other ideals. What you Did you smash your dictionary? I'm a knowledge cleric. Of course I have a dictionary, and I'm going to be a grammar <laughs> Nazi to you. Uh, my recommendation, as much reputational damage as it will cause, is to allow the authorities to handle this. I stand that is with... the most ethical path out of this, if you don't feel like ganking her right now. I stand with Hesmet on this. However, and I will flash my Kopesh right up against her neck for a moment and then withdraw it. Hey! I may be convinced of what. Mao, oh, no. you, Mao, uh, you got on the way. Mao. <laughs> Give me a perception check, Hesmet. P is for perception. 13. All right. Okay, I didn't see it. Great. It's fine. I'm sitting next to him. Do I get a chance? Uh, I was using your passive, but uh, so, no. That's fine. That's... Um. She threw a hissy fit and tried to murder us. You don't think, let's, let's say we let her go and she doesn't murder us. Okay, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just say that. What's her to stop her from doing that to another party that's weaker than us? Well, the fact that we've already drawn the... This, this tomb. 
She has no reason to attack anybody else. What makes you think she's not going to set her eyes on some new little shiny bobble that totally promised me belongs to Nethys, or Nethys says we must have this tomb, and it's important because my god said so, so it's okay to murder murder people. You and I can play the game of water, woulda, coulda, and shoulda until the, cows, until the camels come home. Why don't we try and play a game where we don't let that happen right now and just keep an eye on her? If it comes to that, then we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Dahak, are you for killing her or sending her to the authorities? Or... I am, I am um, for both. If let she, me, I... uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Let, let me figure out how to send a whisper here. Slash oh. W space. And then the person's name that you want to send right, it to. Slash um, w. I kick Mal. So slash W, name of the person. Are think. you moving me? Yeah. Hey! What? I was comfortable. Don't think I didn't see what you were doing. Actually, can I physically do that? I don't have the articulated... Uh, the articulated face for that. Sorry, one second. I'll sit down here after being pushed off her face. She takes a big gasp, and I'll start licking my paws. Her breathing down. is very ragged, as, uh, yeah, uh, she rolled uh, two failures and one success while that was happening. Uh, oh! So now she's dying. Um, do we wish to save her life? I do not wish to see her dead. Then, is, yes. she, is she actually yes. rolling death saves? Yes. Yes. I'm just saying, uh, uh, let's argue some more then. Maybe luck will be on our side. Uh, so, uh, I feel like we can somehow get money out of this, is what I'm trying to get at. Well, Why? then, you best act now. Why? I would like to try uh, and stabilize her. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no! Uh, I'll roll this no. last one in the open. Oh my god, did she die? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, she's dead! We could have found her. Somebody out. give me an insight check. <laughs> I, eventually, I can cast Speak with Dead. Uh, I'll give an insight uh, check. Good lord. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, that was amazing. I love it. Ah, uh, we could have extorted her somehow. I know no, it. No, no, you didn't. You never play the game of extortion with religious zealots. She was gonna right. kill us. Aya, oh. Aya, you are the only one who is certain that Doctor Shortchange didn't actually just kill her. The rest of you <laughs> aren't quite sure. Me, so, oh. Dahaka, you, 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 you understand it as well, Dahaka. Yeah, Shortchange is to visibly her, mad. Uh, yeah. I, I, well, I mean, he was sort of promoting like, use her to make money, so... Yeah, I want, I actively wanted to, like, blackmail her <laughs> or something. Religious zealots never pay up. Everyone has a price. Everyone they does do. have a price, but they don't... But uh, zealotry, if they're He's not like, in it for the money. He's like the first good target to scam or blackmail that we've found. Let what? She doesn't give a shit about anyone but herself and her guy. Exactly. That may makes I, her a fair target. May I suggest that this is not the appro this is not the best time for an argument. We should inform the rest of the scorched hand. They will find out eventually. I mean they yeah. Because th we have reached a point where on Abadol would say you can't make a deal with the dead, so we might as well move on now. Oh, well, I bet Abadar has figured out a way to make money off the dead. <laughs> Tell Rue, sir. Lad. Yes? Um, she is gone. Would you like the body for any uh, religious rites? She passed naturally, I can uh, uh, attest to that. <laughs> she, was or she was suffocated. As you she can tell... Pet that is not saying a goddamn thing. Mal literally mothers is. <laughs> I don't say that out loud, but... It would probably be prudent if we brought the body through the gates. Mal, the gatekeeper, would 
presumably be less suspicious, and we don't want them to come to the temple to find the body. Um, if we do not bring it outside, we will we will find a suitable place for it. Perhaps, perhaps even putting it in one of the sarcophagi on the far side over here. That that would actually uh, has seem will, rather just. Yes, Hasbet will nod respectfully and lean over to pick up Velriana, and in doing so, absolutely just like pick her over uh, for anything valuable. Yeah, wow. uh, I mean, you've already removed her uh, her spellcasting focus. Uh, she has, uh, you know, a hefty money pouch as she is clearly not a poor person by any stretch of the imagination. Barely. Uh, could, could have extorted her for more. Uh, no, you see she's got a a trio of scrolls uh, that are wrapped up uh, along with her spell book. She has a silver holy symbol of Nethus. Uh, a dagger, a light crossbow, and uh, you know, beautifully tailored and inscribed uh, leather bracers. Okay, um, as I'm uh, as Hesmet is uh, struggling to uh, to pick up Velriana, clearly not the individual that is standing beside her that is uh, that is appropriate for carrying an entire body over to the other uh, the other party. Um, has uh, you know they are pocketing as much of that as they reasonably can before. Give uh, me a sleight of hand check. Dragging. Uh, do you need a assist? Do you need assistance? I mean. I'm not going to say no to assistance. Uh, I'll try with whatever sleight of hand assist I can give you. I can give you guidance. I think you meant assistance no, carrying the body guidance, to build. This is not appropriate for guidance. It's like, oh, hold on. Let me let me give you guidance for whatever innocent thing you're doing. Oh, wow. I got a 17. I keep looking the other way. 17? What, what, what do we get? Well, what do we hide? What do we hide? Sorry. I'm so sorry. What do we hide? <laughs> Yeah, you you don't think you uh, drew too much attention. Uh, Kelru will come over and just say, "I should perform oh. final rites." Absolutely. Do you would you like me to assist? No, thank you. Dahaga nod politely. Dahaga steps away to give Kelru the space he needs to perform yes. the rites. And, and yeah. Hesmet is going to do so as well around the corner to, you know, more thoroughly pocket all the stuff that he just stole. Yeah. Sure. And as that happens, Idori sidles up to the two of you and just says, uh, Slick, you, um, you find the uh, hidden thing upstairs? Did we find the No, we upstairs? most we stumbled into coming straight down here. We, we haven't were, properly searched upstairs yet. Yes, we were a, uh, tracking barefoot footprints. Yeah, found a little secret cubby hole that if I tell you where it is, I get a cut. Why didn't you simply loot it yourself? You're sneaky. Because I was being paid by them. Mm. They are now paying you to do this. And I don't want to be rude about it. I could just go upstairs and attempt to take the whole thing. Seems like a mutually beneficial arrangement. Exactly. I look over at uh, uh, the doctor. Or doctor. I'll give you an even share with what anybody in the party would have gotten for that particular item. If it's full of magic, absolutely. Um, Agree. The library area, they tossed it pretty carefully, but uh, the uh, 
corridor nearest the door uh, has a secret compartment in the uh, western wall. Hopefully it's got something good in it. Thank you for the information. Uh, okay. There's also some weird freaky shit down here that uh, good luck with. Uh, <laughs> while, while she's still here, I'd like to ask her something in Thieves Camp for her sure. and Hesmet. Um, are you familiar with anybody in the Silver Chain? Yeah, of course. Not a member of their group, but I know of them. Watch out. They are going a little bit insane. They yeah. may have the item. That too. Are you the... saying the Silver Chain's off the chain? Yes. Yes. Um, hmm. they, may, they may have the mask-like item that uh, the late uh, Miss Valeriana was looking for. And we that, don't know yeah. what else they're doing. They've taken to wearing funerary masks like the mask that we presume was in there? Yeah, I've noticed a couple of those people running through here. I didn't know if they were part of the uh, the locals or if it was something different, but I didn't realize that was the silver chain. Usually more grave robbery types than anything else. There was one that had bare feet. That's who we've been tracking this down to this basement. I'll keep an eye out. It's not smart to wear bare feet walking anywhere in the necropolis. No, which means they are either very foolish or exceptionally skilled. Indeed. Thank you for the uh, your time. If we Thank you for that uh, quick blade earlier. Well, I wanted to cool things down. And you look over and you can see that Dahaka is, you know, sort of having a quiet conversation and clapping Azaz on the shoulder, who doesn't appear to be uh, wanting to listen. And then whatever Dahaka is saying seems to be getting through to him and he sort of nods and, you know, looks up. Uh, yeah, Dahaka sort of claps him on his back as Azaz uh, leaves. And Dory just looks at the two of you and says, I can't believe I couldn't put that little shit down. That's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> it's, it's quite difficult to knock out someone who is trying to actively kill you. I don't know, I took down that Minotaur. He was not trying to actively kill you. Fair. I don't know, I had, a, I had an easy time of it. <laughs> Perhaps. By which I mean I had a hell of a time with it, but... Uh... Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. So, as far as anyone else knows, I'm a fucking ninja, baby. Uh. So they're leaving, right? Uh, they are leaving. Yes. And, yeah, Kelru will, you know, as he's departing, just say, We have a deal. Do not defile anything in here. Whatever you find, if it relates to... Nethys and our history, we will willingly purchase it from you. Respect Not the dead, but we are also under the rules of the Pharasmans. So, what you do not wish to sell, you do not wish to sell, but everything you do wish to sell, we purchase. It does not go to auction. Agreed. And worry not about desecration or disturbing the dead. That's yeah, sort of my thing. Yeah, our group has literally got a tomb guardian and somebody who worships the old gods. Yeah, we're, we're predisposed not to do anything bad. <laughs> At least in regards to desecration. And you see Kelru kind of tilt his head. And he sighs. 
And fine. And Azaz, you know, sort of gives him a questioning look, but he will lead you down this passageway uh, and just say, follow me then. Okay, I will give everyone else a sort of a quizzical look, but... Uh... And he opens the door and you see inside is a small area that is clearly, oh. you know, a shrine. There's a stone altar flanked by a pair of bronze urns and three rows of stone pews. And there's a lacquered wooden cabinet sort of bolted to the wall and a long stone table What's running this? parallel. We're getting into it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, sort of kneeling, uh, you see a skeletal figure and they rise and turn with this massive spear uh, and Kelru raises his hand and says Cinemeric you have long been the champion and the protector of the sanctum and this skeleton's eyes are like sparking with kind of blue uh electrical energy and he looks at all of you and just says they don't belong and Kelru will you know walk up place a hand on their shoulder and just say you have protected this for millennia your job is done your goal has been met you are free your duty comes to an end and you watch as the skeleton sort of nods its head the eyes go dark and the bones just almost whirl away to dust as this skeleton uh, skeleton's spear just kind of clangs to the stone floor and Kelru sort of deftly lifts it with a hand and places it across the altar and just turns to you and says he has been protecting this sanctum for thousands of years he gave his life and his unlife to protect this place don't disrespect his desire to keep things safe oh no like at, at, at this point like Hesmet is like like standing over the the the, the ashes of this thing and just kind of like staring down at it like uh uh you know like uh sort of a body language is kind of the only look like he doesn't really have facial expressions but like um they're just kind of looking down at uh, uh cinemaric here just and, and they just say, then he was lucky. I'm and saying a prayer over here, over over him. He'll say that in ancient Assyrian. And yeah, at this point, he has no idea what to do. Um, then Kelru will pick up the ashes, put them into one of these urns, and again, just turn and say, be respectful. Good luck. He would have been a handful. Well, I appreciate it, Kelru. Yeah, I, ass you. I assume that spear is one of the things we're supposed to be respectful of. Am I getting that vibe? Uh, it is clearly magical, but he has placed it on the altar, and, you know, as he said, anything you, you wish to find, you can keep. But, uh, you know, he nods and says, there are other spaces we did not explore here. There may well be other things awaiting you. Good luck. To you as well. And with 
that, the three of them will exit, carrying Velriana's body. Uh, short rest? Well, no, I think you have to say thank you. You're welcome. End in the fight, end in that threat. No thank worries. You. Here's your, here's a t- tasty treat, and I'll give you a wink. For a treat, as opposed to a treat. And a treat? Jeez, oh, <laughs> I have his choo choo roo. Here's your choo roo. Uh, I feel like we should take uh, what we could have made extorting her out of out of mouse share. <laughs> no, because she wouldn't have been able to extort her. She just would have killed you. What I think we should take is a short rest. Yes, please. Oh, yes. I mean, I, I'm, I'm in the best situation right now, but I agree. I need one. I need one, one definitely. Hey, there we go. Spear, as you spend this hour with it, is the Spear of the Watchful Guardian. Rogues are not proficient in spears, are they? Also, they're not finesse. No, they're not. Shit. Can alter the properties from... Wow, that is awesome. So yes, it can bypass resistance to... Bludgeoning, slashing, piercing. The change lasts for five minutes. And it gives you a plus two bonus on perception checks. And once a day, you can retroactively add a plus one bonus to any attack roll if it misses. So, so I can change... Plus one spear that allows you to... Add another plus one if you miss an attack. And bypass a choice of resistance. Yeah, for five minutes. For five once minutes. A day. Regardless... So is that for everyone or just for you? Just for oh, you. Also, also, you get plus two to perception. Just the wielder yeah. of the spear. Yeah. Um, um Iro. Yeah. Buddy. <laughs> friend. I mean, I have that sand repelling quarter staff, which is a plus one quarter staff. But this is arguably better. Plus the plus two to perception checks. Yeah, it's, it's the same same damage I. Um. Same Are damage die, and it means that I can prone. also use bludgeoning to lose resistance so I can pop pop. Yeah. Um, and plus two perception. Weapons are fun. Plus two perception on somebody with 15 means you have 17 passive. Yeah. Having somebody in the party with 17 passive perception seems real good. Indeed. So, <laughs> At, at this point, I, I, okay, I know for a fact Aya can use spears. Dahaka can use spears. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say this is on active perception checks, not just passive. Oh. Aww. Okay. That's fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to take that if no one is opposed. I'm not. I'm good. You can have it. And the scrolls that you found on Velriana are Charm Person, Invisibility, and Magic Missile. Did we already take a short rest today? No. Okay. Sorry, so that was uh, Charm Person, Invisibility, and Magic Missile. Yes. And the bracers are bracers of armor plus one. Charm Person, Magic Missile. Is that just plus one AC? Yes. No restriction on who can wear or use it? Nope. There are just brace, bracers. If braces of defense give plus two and have that restriction. <clears throat> plus one. Well, you, it wouldn't be good to have that restriction. Hold on. I have a uh I have a question. Oh, that answers my question. Uh Patrick, I am going to uh issue forth a uh, uh a class feature of mine or sorry, a racial feature of mine. Would this count as armor or would this not count as armor? Are bracers armor? Well, they're called bracers of armor. Yeah, but usually they're they're for like wizards and stuff to wear. 
I would. I personally would not rule it as armor, but well, the bracers don't work if you are wearing armor. So if they counted as armor, they would not. They would counteract themselves. Right, but I'm not wearing armor. Correct. So yeah, they would work for you. Oh, excellent. I may or may not want these, or we may or may not want to auction these. Hey, wait, are these just worse bracers of defense? Yeah, they're uh, they're an uncommon version instead um, of uh, the rare version. They're a Pathfinder item. Uh, Three point five. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Three point five Pathfinder, effectively the same thing. Yes. At least old. And her uh, her spell book, but none of you can use that. So. Right. We can sell it though. Some wizard might need it. Spellbook from somebody who had third level spells, right? It's third, level spells, third level spells, right? Yeah. Well, mm. I, I assume that might be the uh, one. That might be the one thing Kelru would ask for, because he might actually want her buried with that as a follower of Nethus. Oh, okay. That's well, he fair. Say we can. We can't copy it. Well, he wants. We don't he have that with the body. Yeah. We don't have that we skill. That's like a wizard skill. skill. We I also said, don't have hundreds. I would of... probably know a wizard. We yeah, don't have we also... time. We don't have hundreds of gold worth of ink. Mm. Yeah. It's not cheap to copy a spell book. I know. It, yeah, it's not cheap to copy single spells into your spell book. Wizards are surprisingly gold uh, gold hungry. Yeah. 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 If, you could have, uh, if you could have used it, I probably would have kept it for you. But yeah, I think uh, as a... I God of magic, that might be something that uh, they would want for the body. He does, you know, he did conspicuously notice that her holy symbol was gone and didn't say anything about it. Right. So we sell that at the auction and nothing else. Well, I mean. Well, nothing else from we here. We could sell the magic quarter set. You could sell it back to him. Yeah. Because, I mean, Kelru told you nothing that, you know, uh, from here goes up for auction without them getting the first crack at it. So I wouldn't think you selling a uh, holy symbol of Nethys would go over well. And we're supposed to sell it at auction, so we're both break both groups. No, you don't it. have to sell anything. You can find at auction. We sold oh. several items already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh no, I thought we had to sell it at auction before we sold. No, it. Dude, the only no, selling no, at auction no. gives us the best odds for oh that was no yeah, the only restriction that we have in this whole thing is we're not allowed to sell off our auction tickets uh to oh that else. was it okay yes that yeah. was it and don't murder the other parties and, or you know desecrate or anything like that so yes but yeah okay so uh Who murdered somebody's been murdering groups you guys met a group of murdered uh groups out in the uh in the necropolis. Yeah. Uh, somebody who has a curved sword, which is you not have a curved sword. unusual. Yes. Lots of people have curved swords. That's the problem. So which way are we going? What's through that door? Oh. Uh, we should search is, the rest of this room first. There is a pool, I will note, over here. And this is a thing noticed, uh, known as the Pool of Destruction. And supposedly, that uh, uh, that Akat's stone is under it. Let's go try and find that then. All right. So, in searching through this room, which I'm assuming you oh. guys could do in your downtime, uh, yes. easy to, or during your short rest, uh, you I will find probably a, uh, you know, easy enough you find a ancient set of keys and in the lacquered cabinet uh, you find simple religious tools uh, but one gold chalice engraved with the visage of Nethus that you know clearly Kelru will uh, be purchasing from you ooh excellent how much is it worth 50 gold 50 gold cool 50 gold pieces sweet all right Okay, so uh, let us head over to the pool. And no, we are not diving in. Because it is, because it is the pool of destruction. Ah, oh, crap. 
So yeah, there is a locked bronze gate uh, that you can see through that uh, one of the keys that uh, Iroh just picked up easily fits in the lock. Excellent. I will investigate the door for traps. Tan. Would Mao fit through the bars of the gate? No, they are too narrow. Okay. okay. Uh, but, yeah, no, I mean, with the, the keys, no sign of any sort of traps or glyphs or anything on this. Okay. And there is a large star-shaped fountain with a circular basin in the center occupying most of this chamber, surrounded by a ring of stones engraved with hieroglyphs. Roaring blue flames rise from the basin to almost touch the ceiling, and the area is, you know, separated again by another gate over here, that uh, which is where you caught uh, Velriana. Yeah. Uh, okay. I will, uh, just for safety's sake, know, I will unlock this other gate. In case yeah. we need to run. Easy enough to do. And you all do recognize this as a twin to the fountain that was in the main area upstairs in the church. So the note we found, the scroll says below near the fountain, not below the fountain. Yes, I am assuming that it is in the room. Yeah, but I don't think we would need to necessarily dig around in the fountain to find it. Do any of those uh, rocks with hieroglyphs look different than the other rocks with hieroglyphs? Well, the hieroglyphs, those that read ancient Osiriani can all see that this uh, announces this as the twin to the pool upstairs. This is the pool of destruction. So the pool upstairs is the pool of creation? I mean, those would be the two things magic does, right? I mean, there are many other things. In general. Okay. Uh, I would like to take my staff, I will, or my 10-foot pole, I will inspect the area around the inside of the gate for traps, and then I will uh, attempt to inspect the uh, outside of the area for hidden compartments. Guidance, guidance, you... guidance. Yeah, you tap and looking around, eventually you find a Good Lord. secret door over here. Excellent, excellent. I will investigate it for traps. <laughs> that one. There is a very small glyph uh, that once you find is easy enough to scratch out. Excellent. And I will uh, open the door with my key ring. And opening the door, you find a carved stance, sandstone figure of a humanoid engraved with hieroglyphs. Uh, this is clearly the keystone of the Akat. And the ancient Osiriani hieroglyphs reveal how to control it. Uh, so, Give me uh, give me an Arcana check if you wish to try and uh, control it. Okay. Basically, turn it off. I believe that I had used that as my Whispers the Dead skill uh, today. So that's an intelligence score, yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, fuck. Uh, well, someone knows how to build this. <laughs> Yeah, you absolutely uh, shut it off. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, now do I, with that roll, do I feel that uh, this has killed the Akat or just released it or it's now trapped in the walls forever? Uh, neither. You just think it is It is no longer going to be hostile to uh, anybody not wearing a Nethian holy symbol. Oh. So you've turned it off. It'll still, yeah, it'll still look after the building. It just will not attack. Oh, excellent. Uh, I have discovered uh, it's... Uh... I mean, with that natural 20, if you yes. wanted to simply free it and break the binding on it, 
I would allow it. Uh, the question is, if I free it, then off it'll go, and it will, uh, uh, you know, become uh, become a free earth elemental and uh, do its thing. But also, it maintains this place, and that's kind of my thing. Can I? I, hmm? I don't know that the people who are probably probably going to come back here, the Scorch Hunter, presumably going to come back here. I don't know that they would want him gone when they did. Yeah, let me uh, let me let me find that scroll again here. Um, using the generous gift, uh, we completed transformation of Eris into a permanent dweller. Um, so nothing saying that this was with Eris's consent. Uh, with that natural twenty, can I call Eris? Like I would like to ask him or her or it a question. Yeah, it materializes out of the wall next to you, and with uh, with a bronze hand over the stone in the appropriate you know over the appropriate glyphs or whatever. Uh, uh, Hesmet will will say, "You have done an incredible job of maintaining this place, a, a job that I am." very jealous of would you like to go or would you like to stay and in this deep sort of rumbling uh, stone language um, I'm only speaking on ancient or Syriani that's, the, yeah, that's all I've got uh, you see it hold the walls as if it is saying stay okay then I will simply deactivate its hostility switch. See, your problem is it was set to evil. <gasps> the whole time. Uh, Could have been set to W. Well, hey, you know, uh, now we can uh, come and go in the temple. And, uh, you know, if we uh, stay enough times, so we'll get a free Frogert. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, That's and as you move around the walls, Hesmet, you also realize that these blue sort of crackling, uh, you know, flames, they do give off a slight bit of heat, but no sort of damage. Okay. Um, I'm going to try another uh, Arcana check. I want to, like, try to determine the, like, practical purpose of this fountain. Um, and I have absolutely no idea. Nope. I look and I go, well. Okay, so, uh, you know, the, the flames aren't necessarily, aren't necessarily illusory, but they're reasonably harmless. Okay, that's good. Well, do you put your hand in them? I like my hand. I could put somebody else's hand in them. You sure could. Hmm. I hide my tail. Here, no. mouth. Come here, mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. Okay. Um. That is. Uh, that is You're it. You're not getting me anywhere near that. B A T H. Yeah, and so staring into this large chamber that you ran through previously has met. You see there is a another locked gate on the far side of it. Okay. We could go to the other side of the altar room, because there is another room behind the altar. Or we can go to this gate. Yes. You've been in the room. There's that long hallway full of sarcophaguses. Yes. Sarcophagi. Uh, so you presume that that door would lead back to that space. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so in that case then, let's uh, continue on this way, and I will do the investigation thing, because, god damn it, these places are always trapped. Ten. No sign of traps, but you do notice that this southern wall is rough and unfinished, uh, while inscribed hieroglyphs cover most of the room's walls, except for that one, and then... There are just these two rows of massive columns that support the vaulted ceiling in here. Okay. I will uh I will look up. Um 
the vaulted ceiling, does it like angle down in any way, like, you know, towards one end of the room, but not the other, that sort of thing? No, it's just a, you know, this is a beautifully built space. Um, you know, ceiling's about 20 feet high, uh, but does not appear to be out of the ordinary otherwise. Okay, I take my 10-foot pole, I uh, uh, start at this end, and I start tapping along the wall. I am looking for illusory walls, I am looking for secret compartments, I am looking for anything like that. 20. You find nothing like that, though you do get the sense that as you are tapping, you know, they're faint, but you can see sort of markings on this wall uh, where it you would assume that it looks like they had plans for further expansion, but simply never got to them. Okay, so it's not just like an illusory wall that's just not done as well. It's just like they wanted to go further south, but they just didn't have time. Correct, or they just decided they had enough space. Right, okay. And the rest of the hieroglyphs presumably are uh, Nethys is great, Nethys is awesome. Look at all yes. the cool magic. We should get Absolutely. rubbings of the walls, though. That we should. Yeah, here. This is great. We surrender our will as of this date. As of this date, yes. Uh, we will do so on our way out. Oh, don't worry. I've been rubbing the walls the whole time I've been down here. Yes, yes, you have. And you have the keys to this bronze gate as Excellent. well. Uh, I will open the gate. Yeah, swings open again. Immediately wants to sort of close, but you're able to kind of hold it open for everybody. And there is a passage that turns back up to the north. Okay. What I is this strange object sticking out of the wall? Mouth? A gate? A switch? A mouth? And at the end of this hallway, you see a stone door. All right. I'm going to tap, tap, tap my way down the hallway. Nat one. As you move yep. down the hallway, uh, you do hear a click sound as uh, darts fire from the walls. But I'm made of metal. Extra harder metal. Darts. And they all plink harmlessly off of your uh, outer shell as a 14 is the best they could do. Uh, I, I, I don't notice for a second. And then I look down and I just go, oh, was I not supposed to do that? And then I will immediately disable the, uh, uh, the, the, the plate. Yeah, easily enough done. All right. Um... Yeah, I'll I'll add the one to my armor class later. Um, okay, so I'm going to look at this door, investigate for traps, because I do believe that they would double trap something. No sign of any traps on the door. Is it locked? It is not. Okay. Open. Hieroglyphs oh, cover the walls of this chamber. In the middle of the room, a large, majestic stone sarcophagus rests atop a raised stone platform. Several clay jars sit on the floor nearby. A pair of lacquered benches stand near the doors that you have just entered through. Okay. Uh, and the hieroglyphs on the walls, you can see, name this as Jedepet. And reveal that he died um, about a few thousand years ago. Okay. Uh, um, died a few thousand years ago. Okay. Um, and the hieroglyphs describe him as a wise counselor, trusted keeper of secrets, and good friend of the Pharaoh. A good friend of Pharaoh. Etc. Uh, keeper of secrets. Okay, so I will, uh, uh, I will sort of 
draw myself up to my full height, I will hold a torch aloft to announce my presence as I walk in. Because I'm assuming that there's another tomb guardian in here somewhere. So no response to your entry. Ancient Assyrian. If there is another guardian in this place, I would like parlay. Yeah, no response. Okay. Um, I will, uh, I will say, you know, it has been many thousands of years. You have served your service well. I understand. It is perhaps time for something else. The current Pharaoh has told us to be respectful, and I will ensure that. Look at my bronze casing, and no. And if nobody responds to that, then I'm like, all right, whatever. Uh, but I will no. search this fucking room for traps. Yeah, nobody responds. You assume that maybe, you know, Sinan Merrick would have yeah. been the one who would have really looked after everything. Uh, you God, find, yeah, no traps, but you do find uh, a hidden button near the head of, of the sarcophagus. Aha. There are buttons. Now, would I know what such buttons might be for? Based on how big this sarcophagus is. Knowledge engineering, basically. Yes. You would uh, surmise that this would release the sarcophagus and probably open up a secret uh, compartment underneath it. Excellent. Um, then I will... Um... Then I will sort of inform everyone of the party of this. That there is a compartment underneath. And uh, ask if there's any objections to uh, to pressing the button. Hold on. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Makes sense. I will press the button. You press the button. And, and you hear a grinding, uh, clicking sound as the sarcophagus slides forward to the south on a set of concealed tracks. Nice. And underneath, uh, you see there is, in fact, yes, a small compartment underneath here. Uh, and... Uh, in this compartment, you are able to make out what appears to be a small ivory chest just before an electrical explosion rockets through the room down the hallway. As I need everyone to give me a dexterity saving throw, please. Including Except for Mao, who yeah. uh, is smug. Yeah, hey, I'm sitting licking my paw. Oh boy. 15. Yay! Be glad what? for that short rest. <laughs> yes, Iro, that is a failure. Aya, that is a failure. Doctor Shortchange and Hezmet, you succeed. Uh, Dahaka, need a dexterity save, please. That is another natural one. So, really didn't want to. Ones and twenty. That's all we're getting. Yeah. So, Iro, Aya, and Dahaka, you each take. 13 electrical damage, and Dr. Shortchange and Hesmet, you take six. Okay. So <laughs> that is a roll, low roll. That Aya is, a is very having low a roll. bad week. For 48, yeah. Yeah. That's. Okay. Uh, no, like 48, that's like what? Uh, 16, right? Yes for average so it's below average yeah all it's right more like 18 18 is average yeah okay so it is a bit below average okay uh hesmet will uh uh will will sort of spark for a second and then just kind of 
slap the side of his head and, you know, just kind of shake itself off and, okay, we're good. And then Hesmet will think and then they'll look down the hallway and say out loud, is everyone okay? Yes. <laughs> Fine, lad. Yeah, that was not pleasant. I'm okay. Uh, somebody rub their feet against the floor and then touch Dahaka behind the ear. Mm-hmm. And nobody's going to take me up on that. Okay. So <laughs> I will. Uh... I slap him with Mage Hand. That's the best I can do. Oh, that doesn't do static discharge. Anyways, I'm going to look for traps around this chest. Uh, 16. Uh, you notice no other traps but a, you know, now expended glyph of warding. Everybody prepared explosive runes this morning. Anyways, uh, <laughs> do my... Do do the keys in the key ring. Open this chest. No, this appears to be a puzzle box of some sort. It will oh, need, good. It will need uh, an investigation check to figure it out. All right, investigation, uh, and I will call over the inimical, the um, the wondrous, the uh, guy who is very clever, Doctor Shortchange. To assist. I think the best thing we can do with this is hand it to the wonderful, intelligent, fantastic um, person who is not here right now. Uh, well, <laughs> have have her work on it. Eric, Eric can do it while we're uh, exploring. I uh, can give you guidance, I'm sure, to get this. Guidance. Uh, yeah. I'm a I guidance have... bot. Just always assume I'm guidancing you. Well, if it's, I... if it's the two of them, you would have had advantage if I, I, you're I, just getting the help action. So, yeah. I will give the help action for sure because I have a zero in t- investigation mod. God damn it. Okay. I dumped that because we had you. <laughs> yes, and my plus six is great and everything. Uh, I don't quite have expertise on it yet. Um, yeah. yeah, but that's plus seven is more than enough as the two of you literally puzzle this out and it slides across and around, uh, popping open uh, in one small drawer uh, what appears to be a beautiful uh, pearl. Ooh. That slowly begins to float in the air as the drawer is opened. Is it the black pearl? I will place my hand over the pearl to prevent it from floating out. No, it just floats up to the to your does, hand and, and waits. Does this pearl seem particularly powerful? It does. <laughs> and as you keep sliding and moving it around, uh, you also find a wand. Just... Okay. Pearl power, and wand. finally, in the final area, uh, you find, um, surprisingly, what appears to be a small token of a camel. Uh, token of a camel. Now, I have many questions, but... I might know what this is. is like it... a token shaped like a camel or a token given from a camel? Token Second shaped like a camel. Weird. I'm wondering if this is a figurine of power. Wandering camel? No, as in, if you throw it down, does a camel appear? Does that make every day hump day? Give me an uh, uh, an arcana check. As yeah, as you look, I mean, this oh, yeah, really seems to be uh, made of you know carved out of ivory. Submit eleven. However, 
if uh, Aya is so inclined. Yes. Okay, 12. Of course, guidance. Oh, the guidance is always a yes. 12. Eh. Presumably it's magic, but you're not sure. All right. Um, okay. I'll spend some time with it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, now, is this stuff all specifically Nethian in origin, or is this just a bunch of valuable shit? This just seems to be valuable. None of this is specifically tied to Nethus. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so we will... Uh, so I will say... Um, unless we want to crack open the tomb, which I don't. No. Um, uh, yeah. to or, a or degree. <laughs> No, Kelly. Yeah, take, basically... taking taking rubbings while the stuff on the on the thing seems like a good thing to do. Yes. Um, so we basically explored the lower section of this area. Uh, was there another hallway up here though, or is this just an alcove? There is. There is a hallway and a door there, and there is the chamber on the far side as well. Yeah, we never uh, we never went there. Okay, so I am going to suggest we start with this because it's right there. I wish that I could move my token. I don't know why I can't. There it is. I think you got stuck yes. on that pillar. Yeah. Yeah, you got stuck in the pillar. Cool. Uh, investigation. Nat 20. Tell me all Massive about this. stone story. door. Uh, clearly not opened by anybody else here by the layer of dust that is surrounding this. Um, whatever is behind here... You know, the scorched hand didn't bother opening. Okay. Um, I will look at the door itself, uh, see if it's locked, if it's trapped. Nat one, it's fine. Um, so Certainly I'm... not locked. There's no lock on it. Okay. Uh, I will place my hands up like I'm about to open the door. After the last time, I'm going to skid out a little bit more. I'm following Mao. I got hit hard. So, yeah. Their hands are moving towards the door more. Yeah. Gonna, gonna come back to here. And I'm opening the door. The door opens. Inside you see a black and white chamber with a large silver summoning circle inlaid in the floor tiles. In the northeast corner, a set of narrow steps leads up to a raised platform, and a concave stone bench, almost a throne, perches atop here, flanked by a pair of bronze braziers. Four columns, carved in the form of fantastic creatures, support the room's vaulted ceiling. Cast a throne, pair of braziers. Uh... Now, tell me all about this uh, lovely design inlaid in the floor right in front of me. Anyone who's proficient in Arcana can give me an Arcana check. I absolutely will. I'm proficient for the moment, and that's... And I will assist. Important. Yes. I'd appreciate that. I have a five. What do you have? Uh, for Arcana? Yes. I've got a two. All right, so I should roll and use this to me. Uh, no, I got a two plus I got a, like a four. Yeah, I'll, I'll assist you. Yeah, I have a five. All right. Okay. Ah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was my assistant. With a 13, you would still recognize this as a summoning circle, Aya. And... Summoning circle right there. But what exactly it would summon, you're not sure. Okay. Mm, what do you think, Hesmet? And I'll assist you. Uh, I would like very much to disable the summoning circle. That's easy. Typically, you just break it. But we don't even know what it summons. It could summon gold, for all we know. Uh, it could, but uh, I am leaning over, and I am finding some, uh, uh, you know, fine tracery part of the circle, and I would like to uh, scratch over it. And as you step into this room, two of these winged column creatures fire uh, spears at you and 
Shepard and me. Roll initiative as they attack with the. They get a surprise round off. Okay, my AC is uh, 17. As soon as I can figure out how to actually add a plus one to the. Uh, I'll show you after the game. Yeah, okay. It's in the gear somewhere. Yeah. It's a uh, global defense modifier. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like custom AC. Oh, sorry, global AC or... modifier field. Oh, global AC. Okay. I need to find out where to. Uh... It's ah, a show, check show global AC modifier field. Yeah, and then at the, between be your attacks and your uh, inventory, there's yeah. global AC modifier field. Okay, and that adds there. I'll add that to uh, bracers plus one. Cool. Uh, I had actually done initiative here, hadn't I? Hey! <laughs> uh, they still go ahead of me regardless. You, you rolled twice, yeah. Well, 20 or 21. It's fine. They still get me up by surprise. Yes. Okay. I don't know if Stephanie or Ian's away. I don't know where Stephanie oh, is. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm right here. Initiative, please. Ian stepped away. Yeah. But yes, the first one of these columns uh, strikes you and this stone spear uh, then pulls you deeper into the chamber, has met right up beside them. Yeah. Uh, you take seven piercing damage. The other one <laughs> missed and sort of bounced off the floor and then <laughs> retracted in. And then you can see these, you know, the one that is pulled towards you is like a hawk winged woman. And uh, the other one on the far side looks like a skeletal, almost lich. Uh, but with that, uh, top of the round, that takes us to Iro. All right, let's see here. Uh, oh boy. I had to double check my movement speed. Ooh, so I took seven damage there, right? Correct. Ugh. So that's half my movement. So here and here. I haven't had time to disable that yet. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I will move up to this one, I guess. And use my brand spanking new spear. Thrust. That is a critical hit. You like this spear. <laughs> I really do. Spear fast kicking. <laughs> That's a damn good roll, too. Um, yeah, how's you it stab into this sort of... It's a stone sort of construct. So you stab in, uh, and you know part of it sort of breaks off, but it still looks pretty strong. I mean, basically, this is, you know, a 10-foot-tall column that you're attacking. Okay. Uh... Wait a minute. Sorry, I'm double checking something here because <laughs> long or short rest. So I get all my key back. Nice. Okay. sure why that didn't but whatever okay um yeah so i guess i will spend a key point and double wabbit kick this thing uh 16 hits i'm gonna try and addle it so it can't make out attacks of opportunity and second one nice okay uh don't know if this will work because it's a pillar. I'm going to try and topple it. 
That does not work. Okay. And... Does appear to be uh, adult, though. Yeah, I have uh, 10 feet of movement left. So I'll move 10 feet up to here and end my turn. All right. Hesmet, you are currently uh, grappled but not restrained by this column. Okay. Um, being grappled would uh, attacks be at disadvantage? Just no, because no, you're not restrained. Right, Just okay. Move. Uh, okay, well, in that case, then, uh, Hezmet will be unthrilled and, uh, lash out. Um, I'm guessing an 11 doesn't hit. Does not strike. Okay, and, yeah, I should turn off sneak attack. I'm not sneak attacking this. And, I mean, as you hit it, you hit it kind of flat, and the, you know, reverberations sort of echo up your arm. Uh... Okay. Um, and as you strike with the Kukri, uh, give me a strength saving throw, please. Son of a bitch. Five. Uh, the Kukri, or sorry, yeah, your your Kukri, your blade just shatters as it strikes this stone column. What? Ah, uh, it destroys non-magical weapons. I am gonna have when to you when you roll a str uh, strength save that low. Yes, I am going to have to get Uruk to fix this with a mending. Yeah, it should be small enough. However, this is still bad. Um, I have nothing else to do. I don't think I can disengage with a bonus action because I can't move. Correct. Um, can't I mean, you can disengage. Uh, yes, I could do that. I can't hide. Um... And I can't uh, dash. Okay, I'm done. All right. Dr. Shortchange. Hand dash. And moving into the room, the column on the left, you can see Iroh has done a magnificent amount of damage to it. Uh, it is cracked and broken. Uh, the one that is still holding Hesmet has not taken any damage yet. And you see a broken Kukri on the ground. Unfortunately, uh, in order to hit... Or in order to proc sneak attack, I can't hit the one that's already super damaged. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to dash over to here. I don't even need to dash. That's just 30 feet of movement. Uh, and I'm going to try and stab this thing. Fourteen just hits. 14 damage, yeah, you stab in and, you know, part of the sort of wings move and crack and there's a shower of stone dust. Um, I think that, yeah, that's probably it for, for good old Dr. Honesty short change. All right. Uh, that takes us to Aya. Okay, so... Aren't I next? Uh, you are, but I saw Aya's name first. You'll go after her. Okay. You know what? I'm going to Sacred Flame the pillar and see what happens. Which one? Left or right? Whichever one looks the weakest. That is the left. To the left, to the left. It's really mean using something like that on a statue, basically. Uh, or a column, because that's a 12, uh, so it takes three radiant damage. Yep. It's not like he can dodge out of the way. I mean, he can. Just not this time. And I will back off. All right, that takes us to Mao. All right, uh, let's see. And Hawk is on deck. Five, ten. Gotta save the bipeds. So, oh, I can. So, that's the pillar here. Yep. Uh, it's so it's not normal dirt or stone. So, mold earth isn't gonna. Oh, it worked on the other one, though. You know what? Let's just mind sliver it. God 
does not even seem to react. You get the sense that psychic damage does not affect such a uh, a construct. All right. Done. All right. Dahaka. Okay, so I'm going to make my way forward 30 feet and can't see much. Except yeah, for... You see there's a column that seems to be holding Hezmet and Dr. Shortchange is stabbing. Uh, you can't see the other one around the corner. Do I see the broken Kukri anywhere? Or no? Uh, it's just sort of at Hezmet's feet. Hezmet's feet. Okay, I'm assuming something happened to that. I have no idea what broke it. Uh, but I'm not going to step in yet. I'm just going to use... Because I'm really at mid health over here, I'm going to use my second wind. All right. And that would be my turn. So one. Two. Bonus action. Still your action. It, second wind is not a bonus action, is it? Yes, yeah, it's it's a bonus yeah, it is. That's why I was saying it was free. It's oh, free it, to use. It, it says on your turn you can use a bonus action. Oh, I thought it was just an action. Wow. No. Max healing, nice. Nice. Heal I I needed that. Okay, so back to almost full health. I, I think he was sniffing your hair. <laughs> Ew! You gotta tell me what do you use. Never mind. Bad bull, man. <laughs> I am in mourning! You, I am a hot mess! I literally have dirt on me! You certainly are, giggity. Anyways, um... Don't tell my mother we had this conversation. She'd marry you to me in an instant. If she's a, yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep that to myself. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, you still have your action. You can dash into the room or attack. One, two. Do I see this marking on the floor because I was hiding in the yes. corner? Okay. Yeah, but you you heard Aya and Hesmet talk about it being a summoning circle, and Hesmet went into the room to try and uh, disable it. Okay, so I am going to stay away from that. And sorry, I don't know why this. I don't know why this keeps clipping. I'm just trying to... 15. That would be it for me. All right. What do I see over here? Sorry, before I end my turn, over here. That is another column. This one is carved in the form of a skeletal lich uh, that Iroh has basically cracked in half at this point. Okay, so... And one more thing before... I did not mention this earlier. I'm going to be using my shield, pumping up my AC back to 19, and I'm going to be using my warhammer. That's it for All me. Right. Uh, this column steps up to Iro. Oh my god, they move! Swipes at you with a 13, which will not strike. Uh, the one grabbing on to Hezmet continues to... Uh, so, retracts, you are no longer grappled, and then attempts to swipe at you with its massive wings. Danger. That is a natural one. It misses completely. That takes us to Iro. All right, let me show you how it's done. What? Holy shit! That is yeah, how you it's do. Done. You absolutely show it how it's done, and just in a single swipe, crack this in half. And there's just chunks of rock that sort of scatter across the floor. All right, that was interesting. Uh, come over here, bend a key point, and... What? Yes. What? Uh, One hits. I will... Oh, hell, I'll add a litz. All right. And then try and push it. So that's to make a strength save. Uh, that is a 22. Okay. Well, I tried. Uh, you only then... get the one, because I think you only hit once, right? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. So, sorry. Yeah, because the 11, I assume, yeah. missed then. Yeah. It did. So, uh, your choice. Do you want to addle it or try and push no, it? No, I would have tried to push it, because add addling it would just give me slightly better things, but it's fine. I would have tried to push it, because that would also break the grapple. Uh, that's my turn. All right. Hezmet. Okay, I will uh, 
attempt to Kopesh it. Like so. Uh, I'm guessing a 12 does not hit. Wait, does no, not I have hit. No, I don't oh. have advantage. You're right. That's unfortunate, because that's a lot of damage. That is um, a lot of damage. And at this point, I am then going to walk away. Because, ow! It will take an attack of opportunity. Uh, oh, wait. No, sorry. Uh, that's... Uh, disengage? You do I have that as a bonus action. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can disengage. Uh, yep. So I will... Bonus action to not be there anymore. Yeah, easily enough done. Uh, Dr. Shortchange. Hesmet lad, did you forget about this? And I will use my bonus action to steady aim. Uh, I did forget about that. You were so excited about it, like level one. I know. And I will try and Dr. stab Shortchange it. Dr. Shortchange plants his feet. 17 will absolutely strike. It's 17. Yeah. That is enough as you stab up and through. You hit just the right spot as the wings crumble off and this column collapses down into just rubble at your feet. Um, is there any bodies to search? Nope. Ah. They're just they're just crumbles of dust. They are rocks. they are magic protective uh, columns. Oh, yep. Yeah, I, I wreck a curtain, and I get hurt. You guys wreck some columns, and now you're the heroes. <clears throat> the guardian no longer hates us. We wait until after that to do do damage. Yes. Also, oh. I got my ass kicked there. You're not like super. Last. You're not super kicked, but uh, whatever. I got hurt there. Is it supposed to curve in? Concave, convex—they're all just shapes, really. Um, I will return to my attempt at disabling this summoning circle. Yeah, easily enough, you are able to disable it, just scratching it out. Excellent. And I am going to speed things along a little bit for tonight. Thank you. Uh, exploring the rest of the Sanctum of the Erudite Eye, you do manage to find, in the crypt area, um, most of the people interred here are obviously priests. Um, and while it appears they've given away most of their wealth, um, each sarcophagus does contain uh, a high priest of the sanctum, each of whom wears a gold funerary mask sort of carved in the face of Nephis. And other than that, there's some canoptic jars, small personal items, and wooden holy symbols of no great value. Uh, but each of those gold masks you know you would be able to uh, sell to Kelru and the church for a hundred gold each. Okay. How many masks? Seven. As well, uh, next to a corpse who appears to have uh, been reawakened, which you would be able to dispatch without ease, but you're a little surprised to find something like that down here, uh, you notice that it, it appears to have been trying to scratch its way into what appears to be a small secret room uh, that contains a small unlocked chest that has um, four potions of healing and uh, a pouch containing six rubies, each worth 50 gold. Hmm. And on its body, you also find uh, what looks like a like a a butcher's knife, 
but it's got some like nicks out of the blade, but it doesn't appear to have rotted away like the rest of this corpse's clothes and other goods. Okay. Um, so I look at this butcher's knife with an arcana skill that I temporarily have. Does it appear to be magical? Give me an arcana check. I need an arcana check. That is arcana and that is whispers to the dead skill. Uh, intelligence. Go. 11. Yeah, you would think it's magical. You can't quite tell what it can do, but you do notice some runes inscribed upon the blade. Okay. Um, and upstairs you find a variety of other goods. Uh, I will say the big thing you find in the secret chamber that uh, you were told to find in the library area. Okay. You know, and as you open it up, uh, one of my favorite little creatures in here uh, that you guys would be able to take care of uh, is basically a guardian scroll. So like this scroll <laughs> unrolls and attacks you flying and slicing <laughs> and cutting you up. Nice. Oh God, uh, paper cuts, they're the worst. I think I have. What a dickish thing, that's great. Let me guess, it's weak to fire. That is the Guardian Scroll. Nice. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, but yeah, you find in this secret panel, um, a tablet, three scroll tubes, and Along with these items is a second stone tablet written in ancient Osiriana hieroglyphs. Okay. Uh, I will... Oh, there it is. And it reads, by royal order of the Pharaoh, Degeret II, the high priest of our blessed temple shall take this relic to our new city, where the asp and crook join... Those are the rivers that meet here at Vati. Yeah. And ensure it is never discovered. Treat it with reverence, but conceal it with your most trusted secrets and valuable treasures. Do not attempt its destruction. Do not be tempted by its powers. Let our scandal remain forgotten until this obscenity can be undone. Ooh, scandal. Oh, uh, we know it. We, we know what she was uh, looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone who has knowledge, nobility, or history can give me a history check, please. Ooh, I will guidance myself. What is that right? intelligence? I've gotten done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I'm not from around here. I know about nobility. I don't know this particular nobility. Aya, you recognize the name of Pharaoh Degerator. The Jederet the second, because they are the pharaoh that was the pharaoh of Assyria around six thousand years ago, and they founded this city. They, that's the founder of the city. But what about that other city? What do you mean, what other city? Uh, are we, sorry, is Wati at the crook of the Aspen? Or, yes, this yeah. is, this is okay. the city they're talking about. Okay. Take this relic, ensure it is never discovered, treat it with reverence, but conceal it. Do not attempt its destruction, the, the destruction of the tablet or the city. What's so special about the scroll? Uh, you would think what this is talking about is whatever was downstairs that uh, this mask that has been taken. Oh, shit. Um, tablets. Um, uh, 
is from Shed Founder. Wow, okay. And the scrolls you find are scrolls of Earth Tremor, Warding Wind, Dust Devil. Uh, I'm guessing that these are specific spells to this campaign, or no? They're they're all from uh, Princes of the Apocalypse, or I think that's where they came originally. They're all like elemental spells. So uh, and Xanathar's Warding Wind helps you against ranged attacks. Earth Tremor is uh, D6 or 2D6 damage and cause you to go prone. Oh, excellent. Okay, uh, so this was the hidden thing that Idori was, you know, wanted us to Okay, so this uh, this royal decree so, so it's the tablet and the three scrolls in this secret chamber, yes? Uh, there's two tablets. One is the other tablet. Uh, looking at it is something called a tablet of languages lost, uh, which uh, basically think of it like a Rosetta Stone. So it's a collection of three languages, and it will allow ooh. So it basically allows you to understand any written texts as if using comprehend languages for one hour. It's a Rosetta Stone. Yeah. Yes. It's a Rosetta Stone. <laughs> that is clever. Man, I prefer Duolingo. I prefer Singalingo. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So you would think, uh, given the age of this, that this is probably, you know, the collection of documents in this library alone are worth a thousand gold. Okay. Uh, this tablet of lost languages is probably worth about a thousand gold. Though, I mean, this is not the, you know, all the paperwork here is something that uh, clearly the Church of Nethys would be interested in. This tablet of language is lost, standard kind of magic item, so they could okay. be interested, but it's also something you could keep or sell on your own. Yeah. Along and, with the other scrolls. And we do owe Adori a cut of that. Yes. As well as the scrolls, if we yeah. decide to sell them. True. Okay, so um, so I will no make a note of that. Um, so yes, oh. you have found. Uh, I'll send you the list of the other trinkets and things you can find oh. upstairs. But you've you'll get quite a payday out of the. Church of Nethys from what you found. You've also found a few more magic items, but you have now found that a great ancient relic that the Pharaoh himself wanted hidden has been stolen. Yes. This and is not good. As you make your way out of the necropolis for the day, uh, Baal, the you know female uh, priestess and guardian of the gates you know nods and wishes you well and you make your way back to your inn 
You eat, you drink, you hear stories of loss and success from the other teams, and you all level up to level four. Yes. You'll have a couple of days to uh, organize your goods for the upcoming auction. I need That's to where stop. we will leave it for tonight. A little bit intense. Right. Ah, uncanny dodges level five. I keep tripping traps. <laughs> well, that helps with attacks. You're looking for evasion. Uh, evasion. Evasion is your You're zero, right. da that's, zero that's damage. Yeah, yeah, most most traps don't do attacks like the dark said. Oh. Yeah. So this is the knife that you found, the battle chef field dresser. Is someone watching Dungeon Meshi? No, this is from. Uh, <laughs> The Griffin Saddlebag. Yeah. Magically heated edge. Potentially designed to quickly prepare fresh cuts of meat from slain creatures. Ooh, and it gives them a nice sear, too. It's a 2d4 dagger. Oh, uh, sorry. And I also missed uh, you get two bottles of uh, potions of bottled breath that were in the um, ivory puzzle box. And it's a wand of secrets. Because so it's Nethys, so of course it is. Yes. yes. You exhale it, it's oh, a man, It could have been a wand of magic missile. Why does it have a jellyfish? Could have been, <laughs> could have been so a wand of fireballs, huh? Mm -hmm. Two potions of bottled breath. Okay. Uh, something that is utterly useless for, for, a, for a guy who doesn't breathe. So that's one less person to worry about. So I just yeah. need to start scrounging up, scrounging up cash for the plate armor now. And sorry, where did we find the uh, potions of bottled breath? Just kind of around? Uh, they were in the ivory puzzle box. Okay. Uh, um, so I'll send you the list of what that's worth, because the, the ivory puzzle box is worth like 250 gold itself. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Yes. Well, yeah, you need money to buy things at the auction. I mean, I that need is money true. to pay off my debts. <laughs> that I, 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 time to go to the level four. Everyone see you on the upside. Woo! Hell yeah. Yeah, do I, level do I four. Up, do I up my decks or do I try for something? Uh, Wait, who took the tablet who learns the language? I we mean, haven't decided yet. We're probably going to sell it. Yeah, because I mean, it's a thousand gold. Yeah, but awesome. we're leveling up now. It doesn't disappear once you learn the language. Oh, no. Sorry. You don't learn languages. It just lets you cast comprehend languages for an hour. Look at the bottom of it. Oh, shit. Uh, I need to find it again. Yeah, you can learn. You can learn the three languages inscribed the next time you level up. If oh. nobody noticed, then Mal will learn those three languages. Oh, well, it's ancient Osiriani, Kelish, and contemporary Osiriani. So, so if no, you are know ancient one Osiriani, of one of you can learn it, or or Kelish. Uh, I don't yeah. think I learned. I know Kelish. Oh, I don't know. Kelish. I don't know Kelish either. Is common. So, but I only speak, one uh, of you can do it because you know it's only for the owner. So yes, but after after they have learned it, if they no longer hold the tablet, do they still have that language? Yeah, but you're all leveling up now, so yes. If they give so, it away, yes, you learn. It's just a way to learn another language. So I would ooh. point out that our party face does not speak ancient Assyriani. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of want to roll, because none of you noticed. That's fair. Could also, because you, I mean, if you keep it, you can hand it to, you know, whomever before you level up next time. That's also true, but I think it's better. Yeah, this to will be the, the downtime in the next couple of days, so. Yeah. Yeah, take it, Brendan. Take it, get the Ancient of Sariani. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually of the mind, Mao, like, Ian, you should get rewarded for noticing that. Yeah, Definitely I'm also in for that. Yeah. Oh, well, Honestly, yeah. 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 If, if you want to learn a uh, learn a new language, you can. Yeah, I'll look at the tablet everybody kind of ignored, thought was kind of useful, and just oh. as I'm wagging my tail. Oh no, uh, we're uh, we we didn't think it was kind of useful. I mean, we we do recognize it's kind of useful. We uh, uh, we recognize it's kind of valuable. You should definitely get an inspiration for that. You. Nobody I think so. Does. Yeah. 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 We were I, I we were looking that. at it like uh, we need to sell it anyway because we're we're kind of indebted to this person. 
Yeah. Oh, so, do I have to subscribe for to use this? Fuck off. Mal picked up something else at the bottom. Uh, what was the other language? So I already speak common Assyriani, right? So there's ancient Assyriani or Kelish, which is a foreign language uh, that because there was a time when the lands were ruled by Kelish uh, invaders instead of pharaohs. So ancient Assyriani and Kelish, I learned. Uh, you or I just have to pick. One of oh, one of the two. Uh, ancient Assyriani. Done. You now yeah. speak ancient Assyriani and you can read it as well. Excellent. I just bumped my dexterity because you. Know, Wait, I can read. Plus I was illiterate point. before this point. We <laughs> 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 tricked you into reading. Ha ha ha! We tricked uh... you. The word you can read. Now you're one of us. You can read. Next, we'll trick you. But he can take... only read if he's got the tablet out. No, no, no. He he just knows it. I learned a language. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you started your char- when you made your character. You knew how to like. When you learn a language as being part of a character, you learn how to write that language. Yeah, no, I get that, yeah. Yeah. 